River State, South South Nigeria's economy is witnessing a boom, not just because of the treasures lying in its belly, but because more business opportunities are being opened up and the right atmosphere for business to thrive has been created. Don't forget that you have the triangle in Nigeria, Lagos, Abuja, Port Harcourt, and that triangle hasn't changed, and it's not about to change. And the reason that Port, Port Harcourt and River State continue to look even more attractive, in my view, than Lagos, is that Lagos is already oversaturated. So you still have a lot to, that you can tap in Port Harcourt, a lot that is unexplored. So Port Harcourt, River State, is the destination that would naturally make sense at this point in time, especially with our strong credit rating. We've got an, a, a very beautiful credit rating, I'm sure you're aware, from both S&P and Fitch. In terms of um, opportunities that are, are availed those who invest here, we must look at the population, both of Nigeria. If you set up, for instance, a manufacturing plant here, you'd not only be looking at the local market, that is the river state market, you'd also be looking at what other markets are available within the locality and within Nigeria and even the West African hub. River State produces strategic minerals and other agricultural products which can all be mobilized for the state's economic growth and development. The present state government is looking to pursue a vigorous diversification of the economy. The Amici-led government is looking at sectors away from oil and gas. Multiple investment opportunities are being created in housing, agriculture, transport, power and manufacturing. We have potentials in uh, natural resources. We have a very good climate, very good soil, and uh, our people are predominantly farmers. One quick uh, uh, point in mind for investment is the Reef Marine. As I speak to you, we are looking for partners that will come and uh, take over the company, revamp it, and run it solely as a private uh, uh, business. Government owned participation will be its equity that will transfer to, to the investor. River State has a huge agricultural potential. Um, again, if you, this used to be the palm oil belt uh, in the time past, and we still have vast you know, amount of land available uh, for, 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 for farming. Of course, because of our riverine nature, aquaculture is an area that people will do quite well here. The flagship for investment in River State outside oil and gas has to be the Greater Port Harcourt City. In 2009, the Greater Port Harcourt City Development Authority was established to transform a new area into a world-class city. Local authorities have a vision of a city internationally recognized for excellence and a preferred destination for investors and tourists. The Greater Port Harcourt area is located next to the international airport and we're building the road that will link it up to the seaport. So we see possibilities of investment available in cargo and warehousing and uh, freight, freight uh, management. The River State government has created an enabling economic environment that attracts local and international entrepreneurs. They are ensuring security of lives and investment and creating laws to ensure continuity. We have set up the due process, public procurement systems, which we expect all who wish to invest or do business here to participate in. And then government has also uh, recently enacted the Public-Private Partnership in Infrastructure Law, which is intended to assist those who want to enter into PPP and concession arrangements with government. So we're creating the legal framework to ensure that you have confidence in the businesses you're trying to set up in, in, in Port Harcourt. What we're trying to do is say, look, we're serious people, we're serious government. Now, when we come across those who want to invest, we lay our cards on the table, we know how far we can go. But all of it, we're opening opportunities, creating laws that protect investment. All I'll simply tell you is that any investor that wants to come to River State, we want to guarantee, the government will guarantee that whatever investment they are coming to do here in River State will be protected. 